Hey, my name is Henry Koch and I work as a product manager for Qt. So I'd like to cover some of the other features we're providing in 4.5. Uh, in 4.5 we're adding WebKit and the Phonon Multimedia Framework. So with Phonon you can use a direct show backend to show uh, video and audio. And with WebKit you can provide uh, web functionality on, on devices uh, that have better memory capabilities than the low end. In the Qt XML Patterns module, we're adding support for XSLT. XSLT allows you to do transformations on XML. So considering that XQuery is sort of like um, an engine for doing mashups on XML, you can use XSLT to transform the output in any way you want to. So, for instance, you can wrap this in an HTML output, or PDF even. We're also providing a debugger for Qt Script. So your end users that use Qt Script can now use a graphical debugger front end to actually step through their code and find problems. And the Qt Script debugger provides normal debugging hooks like stepping through code and setting breakpoints. We're also adding support for writing out open document files. So we now have a generic class that we later can expand to support more formats. And a possible future area would be, for instance, more office support. We're adding some improvements in our network proxy handling. So you'll be able to do more advanced use cases of proxy in Qt. We've also added uh, improvements in designer and linguist, predominantly on a usability scale. So in Designer, we have an icon view for controls. You can search your properties. You can morph objects between uh, similar types. In, language, in Linguist, you can view multiple languages at the same time. You can actually preview the UI design with different languages as well in Linguist. We've done some other graphic improvements in Qt. One area is improving the CSS support on Mac OS X. We also provide top-level semi-transparency semi support, meaning that you can actually have areas of your UI that shine through to the background. We also include improved support for GTK and GNOME desktops. So Qt applications will now actually behave more like a first-class citizen and pick up theming and styling from the GNOME desktop. And finally, we're introducing a more complete SDK of Qt, where you get a full IDE along with the actual Qt libraries that allow you to download, install, create your application, compile, and run it within only a few minutes. And we're really looking forward to having the Qt SDK out there. It'll make it so easier to, for users to get started and allow people to reuse their knowledge of the IDE and of Qt on multiple platforms in a really short time. So if I'd pick a favorite out of the features I summarized, I think it would be the, the SDK. Being able to have everything in one place and allowing people to get started really, really fast is a big, big advantage, I think. And having the same tool on multiple platforms and allow you to work on the platform of choice where you feel most comfortable is a big value add and a huge productivity gain for the developer using the SDK.